Let's take a look at some questions from Module 1, Checkpoint Test 2. Question 2, show that 1, 3 recurring is a rational number, so we need to convert it into a fraction. So we start off by setting up our equations. Let x equal 1, 3 recurring. There is one digit here that recurs, so we multiply both sides of the equation by 10. And we can now subtract equation 1 from equation 2 in order to eliminate those recurring decimals. 10x minus x is 9x, and 13, 3 recurring less 1, 3 recurring is 12. can divide both sides by 9, and 12 over 9 simplifies to 4 over 3. Question 3a, we have two terms here. 1, subtract x plus 1 all squared. We first need to square the bracket. x plus 1 squared is x squared plus 2x plus 1. We can now multiply the negative 1 into the bracket. So we get negative x squared, subtract 2x, subtract 1. And if we collect the like terms together, 1 subtract 1 is 0. So the final answer is x squared minus 2x. Question 3e. Before we can divide these two fractions, we need to fully factorize all the numerators and denominators. x cubed minus 27 is the sum and difference of cubes. So it will, remember the signs will be the same, opposite and always positive. The first bracket will be the cube root of each term. The second bracket will be x times x, which is x squared. The product of x and 3, which is 3x. And then 3 squared, which is 9. That will be over x minus 3. We now multiply by the reciprocal, so we'll have x plus 3 over x squared plus 3x plus 9 doesn't factorize. Right, now we can divide like factors by each other. x minus 3 divided by x minus 3 is 1. x squared plus 3x plus 9 divided by x squared plus 3x plus 9 is 1. And 1 times x plus 3 is just x plus 3. Question 3f, we need to find the lowest common denominator between a and b. So it will simply be the product of the two. We need to multiply 1 over a by b over b. And we need to multiply 1 over b by a over a. So that gives us a numerator of b plus a all over ab.